and from the Lynch syndrome, which is true concerning Lynch. A, recent studies have shown no association between Lynch syndrome and prostate, so that's not true. There's a new study showing there is an association. B, about 1 in 279 people in the U.S. carry a Lynch syndrome mutation, and most are aware they are carriers. This part is true. About 1 in 279 people do carry a Lynch mutation, but most are unaware that they are carriers. Right? It's this ticking time bomb. All these people walking around out there with these Lynch mutations that they are not aware of. C, the lifetime risk of colorectal cancer and Lynch syndrome is about 30%, not true, it could be up to 80%. And D, the four main genes associated with Lynch syndrome are MLH1, MSH2, MSH6, and PMS2. That's absolutely true. And that's it. Anyone have any questions? Or, yeah. I have a comment. Yeah. Family members of people with colorectal cancer who may want to do gel therapy must be gone. Don't get approved by the insurance companies because they themselves have not had COVID tests, and they require the index, the proband, to have it. And the patient's proband, or the person's proband, is dead. You can't access that data, and the insurance company will not allow. If you meet criteria with the PROM score, they should pay for the testing. I don't know. I mean, you have to. You, sometimes it takes a little fight with these insurance companies, but it's certain, even I think in, in Louisiana, we've been pushing for Medicaid patients that they should be able to have uh, testing paid for, not just if they have cancer, but if they have a strong family history. But that PREM score is, objective, is an objective, scientifically studied way to risk stratify people who may not have cancer themselves, but have a strong family history of cancer. And that in itself should lead to reimbursement. And if the company's not reimbursing you, they don't buy it.